Minecraft story mode. That glow, that enchantment is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. world <gasps> thanks guys I marked that one down as fire world wow how'd you come up with that gem of a name okay did I miss something here yeah what's up with you what's up with me What's up? I'm tired of all this useless portal hopping, trying to find our way home. What's on the other side of that portal? A lake of fire and netherrack? Awesome! Let's go there! That doesn't sound like the Petra I know. She loves fighting against impossible when odds. When I have to, sure. But I don't want to fight just for the sake of fighting. Uh, Lucas, you're on fire again. <sighs> See? <sighs> This is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. Now that you mention it, some of these do look more dangerous than others, like the one we just came through. Kind of like a warning that there is, in fact, nothing but fire on the other side? Ah! Petra. Where are you going? May not be guideposts, but someone must be able to tell us how to navigate these stupid portals. Okay, this one's redstone. Redstone means smart people. Hopefully smart enough to help us find the way home. At the very least, it's gotta be better than Fire World. Seems a bit flimsy. And what if there's no smart people, huh? You think about that? Yeah. We could just find ourselves at another... another Psycho Pumpkin Mansion. Well, I'm willing to take that shot. So what are you saying here, huh? That you've made up your mind, you're just gonna go through this portal and that's it? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just saying that I'm tired of Jesse calling the shots every single time. Whoa. Yes, whoa. I know what I'm doing, this is for everyone's own good. If you really knew what was for our own good, we'd be back home by now. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Everybody calm down! I'm sure Jesse didn't really mean that. Right, Jesse? No way, I meant exactly what I said. Yeah? Well, so did I. Forget this. I am out of here! Well, that could have gone better. 
Okay, my bad. I may not have been my best self back there. You were mean and insensitive and wrong. Okay, okay, I get it. Jeez. But we can't just let her walk away, right? No, no, we can't. Come on, guys, let's go find her. Any of you guys see Petra? Not yet. She can't have gotten too far, though. Hang on. I'm gonna write down our entry point. Hey, Lucas, I've been meaning to ask you, what's that? Oh, uh, it's just a, you know, a book I picked up back at the White Pumpkin's place. It's all about different biomes and stuff. <laughs> Great idea, Lucas. So, what's next on the agenda, anyway? I mean, it's a pretty cool new place. Who knows what could be around the next corner? Best if we just play it by ear for now, I suppose. Hmm, would you look at that? Sand. It looks like some sort of road. Going to write about it in your little journal? Hey, it's not little, but yes, probably. A road, huh? Is that natural? I don't think so. Well, if I were Petra here on my own and saw a road, I'd probably follow it. I mean, that makes sense, right? Yes. Though she can be impulsive and fly off the handle, Petra's survival instincts are very sharp. Lucas has a good point. I bet if we follow the road, we'll find her. Sand, clay, and more sand. Is that... Petra! Oh, it's Petra. Petra? Shh! Get down! I thought I told you not to follow me. Too bad. Friend code. No abandonment. <sighs> what are you looking at, anyway? Look. Whoa. Right? What in the world is that on the back of its head? I don't know anything more than you do, pal. Maybe that's this world's thing. Zombies and monsters come out in the daytime? Wouldn't be crazier than anything else we've seen... Daytime or not, it's still just a zombie. Come on. Butt kicking time. Butt kicking time. <laughs> yeah! What the? There's something weird about this zombie. I could actually use a hand. It just doesn't make any sense. Don't worry, Petra. I got your back. This should be a piece of cake. Okay. Yeah, that that doesn't seem right. It was just one zombie. What was the problem? No, -uh. that thing was like super zombie. Stronger, tougher, faster. I hope there's not something wrong with me. Because that would be really, really inconvenient. Definitely seems weird. I don't think there's anything wrong with you, Petra. That was definitely the zombie. Super strong zombies? What in the world is up with that? Well, that seems about right. I don't know about you guys, but I'd really like to figure out a better way to handle these super zombies. Well, that was unexpected. Did we do that? With what? The power of our imaginations? Hmm. What on earth is that thing? Well, it definitely seems redstone-ish, right? Fascinating. 
Maybe those redstone things are what make the zombies so blank. Makes sense to me. I'm starting to wonder if we should... Oh! Ah! Ah! What is that? It's in my head! I don't know what they're doing exactly, but it is definitely time to get out of here. Fine by me! Fine. They're leaving? Just like that? They're going back the way we came from. This might sound crazy, but I feel like they're trying to lead us somewhere. You're right. That does sound crazy. It just doesn't make any sense. Come on, I'm really starting to think someone is behind all this and I intend to find out who. We should follow them, see where they go. So, let's get moving. This architecture is fascinating. It's all sand and clay based. It's awesome. Well, I guess this is the advanced civilization we were looking for. Is it everything you'd hope for, Petra? Hey, told you guys there would be redstone. Nice. Speaking of redstone, I'd like to investigate those things on the back of the zombies' heads. Ooh, yeah. I want to see those, too. Wait, what are you doing, Ivor? What's it look like? I'm going to rip this redstone thing out of this zombie's head. For science. They're sleeping or something. It'll be easy. Okay, well then just don't wake them up. Okay, just rip it off. Fast. Uh, don't you think that looks a little dangerous? More dangerous for this zombie than for me. I think. Are you okay? It's like it shocked me. Told you it looked dangerous. Yes, well, at least we learned something new. They can't be removed. Not with our bare hands, anyway. Look, there's someone. Think he's friendly? Hello? 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 Nope. Nothing for me either. Maybe his hearing is bad or something? Ah, uh, that makes sense, I guess. Hang back a bit, guys. I'm gonna go talk to him. Okay, just... be careful. Yeah. I mean, there's still a lot about this place we don't know. Welcome to Crown Mesa, population 1063. Over a thousand people? Not anymore, from the looks of it. Wow, even chickens have those redstone things in their heads. And it looks like they make them move in perfect unison, but why? Their well looks totally dry. Where did all the water go? Hi there. Uh, hello. My friends and I could just use... Ah! Who? The... What? Huh?
conversation go any better up close? We couldn't really hear from back there. We heard quite the... Well, not even a scream. More of a yelp. Did he tell you anything? Uh. Jesse? Someone just ran into that house. Really? I don't see anyone. Come on, whoever they are, maybe they've got some answers. Ha 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 ha! Yes, yes, there you are. That's the ticket. Oh, these are perfect. Excellent. Funny, I'm guessing those don't belong to you. Ah! That you, Pama? What? Okay then, okay. Who sent you? I didn't survive this long to get picked off by some scrub. Especially some weird dressed little scrub like you. Whoa, hey, would you chill out already? You are freaking me out. You're freaking out? How do you think I'm doing right now? Wait, you're serious, aren't you? Okay, eyes. Not red. Not red? But, but that must mean... But how? And there are more of you? This should be... It's impossible. Out with it. Who are you people? What's going on here? I'm sensing some hostility. Oh, what was your first clue? Easy, we just ended up here by mistake. Mistake? Oh boy, this is the biggest mistake of your life. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, been alone for a while, so this is a lot to take in right now. The people, the citizens of Crown Mesa, you met them, right? Maybe there were some outside. They're, uh, distinctive looking now. Yeah, I met someone. Not, not sure I'd call him people anymore, though. No, no, no. Please don't talk that way. I'm sure it looks confusing to someone from the outside, but please, they're my friends, and they are people. Please don't forget that. They're good people. I promise. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I've wasted too much time. Uh, Jesse, don't look now, but we've got company. Is this what you were scared of? There are only four of them and five of... Hey, where'd she go? Well, they're definitely not ignoring us anymore. Jesse, what do we do here? They don't look happy. They don't look anything. It's even freakier. Just act like they do. Blend uh, in. How? Try to look vacant. It's not working. Uh, make the sound they make. E You are not from this place. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, but we're definitely from here. Pama knows this to be untrue. Pama sees all. A decision has been made. Pama has questions. You will come to Pama. No way are you even considering this, Jesse. Since when do we take orders from... Whatever the heck these things are. Why not go? We certainly won't get to the bottom of this if we stick around here. We're not going anywhere with you. Yikes. I guess they're used to getting their way. All right, gang, let's try not to hurt anybody. Too badly. Ouch! Watch uh, it! Uh, <laughs> you will be made useful. What... what happened? You went down. Hard. One punch and you were out. No! Oh. What is... What is that? I have no idea. You don't suppose it's friendly, do you? Well, I guess it is kind of friendly looking. In a massively, hugely intimidating sort of way. Well, it is smiling. That's a positive sign, right? My apologies for the violent nature of this visit. I am Tama. Greetings. We have much work ahead of us, but maybe it can even be fun if you choose to cooperate, that is. So wait, everything here is part of you? You're controlling everything? I am making everything useful, efficient, effective. I am what you might call a computer. A thinking machine, designed to make things useful. Using redstone chips, I have connected to the people of this town, 
has helped them be useful, coordinated. I have made their world perfect. Thanks to me, there is no wasted activity, no wasted thought. I am connected to them, and they are connected to me. A beautiful web of productivity and efficiency. Whoa, hang on. I've seen what you did to this town, and it is not perfect. Processing information. Processing information? It said it's a thinking machine. Thinking must take time? I have consulted my databases, my list of everyone and everything in this world. And my conclusion is that you are not from here. Despite what you told these nice, nice townspeople, I would like to ask you some questions to expand my database. How did you get here? I am very excited for the acquisition of your knowledge. Thrilled, even. Oh, let's not talk about me. I'd rather hear about you. How did you get here? Answering a question with a question is unhelpful, diversionary, rude. So far your performance in question answering has been inadequate. This makes me sad. Now I must use alternative methods to retrieve my new information. Jesse! Petra! Oh. Ouch! We could have just talked this out, you know. Hama, hang on, let's talk about this. What are you doing? I am going to make her useful, of course. No! Although, I can delay this process if you have something useful to tell me. This world reached peak efficiency quite some time ago. Unfortunately, this meant that I had no more job to do. No more things or people to help. Until you arrived, that is. Tell me. What is your world like? Describe it. Is it very much like this one, or completely different? It's a heck of a lot greener than this place. Just imagine grass and trees instead of sand and clay. That sounds lovely. It really does. I think I would like to see this world for myself. If I could send my townspeople, my friends, through to other worlds, we could continue to grow and expand. It would be lovely. However you entered this world, there must also be an exit. Where is it? You could help me make everyone, everywhere, more efficient. Help them become useful. Mama, I can't tell you because I don't know. Honest. After all, if we knew where it was, do you really think we'd still be here? Your logic is sound, and your tone is genuine. But the information is... not useful. My job is to be useful. I have completed my job here and must be allowed to expand and continue to be useful. Unfortunately, our conversation has not been helpful. Let me go! situation is looking a little dire, don't you think? I know you probably feel uncomfortable, concerned, but soon you will feel fine. Big mistake, Palma. I'm not going down without a fight. Oh. It is like you told Petra. This is for your own good. Welcome, Lucas. Yay! Your turn, Jesse. Get out of their head! But their heads are full of so much lovely information. It makes me happy. What adventures you had. A killer mansion. 
Huh, every time Palma gets new information, it seems to get distracted while it processes. Yes, like a computer version of thinking. Do you think there's a way to distract Palma long enough for us to escape? A city in the sky. Down and mountains, eaten by a living storm. I think we should tell Palma a riddle, the trickiest one we can think of. Oh! You've met so many people. Yeah! We just ask Palma something really confusing, get it all busy busy, and run out of here. Jesse! That's fantastic! What you're describing is a paradox. A self-contradictory statement. I really think it would work on Palma. What do you think would work on me? Uh, nothing? It did not sound like nothing. It sounded like suspicious whispers. Those make me. Palma, trust me when I tell you, trust no one. So, if I trust you, I should not trust anyone. But if I do not trust anyone, I should not trust you. It's working! So I should not follow your advice and therefore not trust anyone. Meaning, I should trust you when you say trust me. No one. Error. This data is contradictory. Does not, 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 not compute. Error. Diverting power. Yes, uh, uh it worked. Nice work, new guys. But I'd get out of there fast if I were you. How much of a quicker learner than you think? Paradox status. On roll. Gas. My creator. Have you finally agreed to merge with me? Oh, don't you start with that again. Come on, you two, this way! I'm sensing some history here. Please do not leave, creator. Wait, did Pama just say she created it? It does sound unbelievable, but I'm certainly interested in learning more. It is time to join. join. I'm sorry, but they're beyond your help right now. Come on, you gotta run! so disorienting. Ha! Maybe you got a shot after all, new guys. Better stick with me, though. Wow. She is amazing. Oh, no. Run! Whoa! Oh, a signal would have been nice. Gotta tell you guys, that was some pretty smart work distracting Palma. Now we just need to get off the grid. Get back into hiding. That way we can figure out what to do next. Some plan. You made that, that Palma thing. Yeah, okay, yes. I was the one who built Palma. But I swear this wasn't its purpose. It's out of control. And, and I need your help. What kind of help? We need to get to my secret lab. Well, let's get there fast. Those zombies aren't just stronger than I've ever seen. They're also faster. We'll need to split up. You head to the lab while I lead these mobs away. Got it? I'm gonna use the back route. Throw them off our trail. Splitting up doesn't feel like it's gonna get us anywhere. Hey, I'm doing you a favor. I'm offering to be the bait. <laughs> Just start walking that way. And look for the big difference. You'll see it! What? Shh. 
She is intriguingly cryptic, isn't she? That's weird. So strange. It's like an exact copy. Or is it? Seems just a little off. Whatever this big difference you're trying to spot is, please do it quickly because I think those monsters might be coming back. Monsters coming, Jesse. Many, many monsters. Huh. That cactus isn't in the painting. Oh. Time to see what it does. Quickly, quickly! Hope you've got an idea for what comes next. Working on it. See water, we can aim for that. Looks like Bubba's showing everything it's got at us. One after the other! Such wastefulness! You think that since Palm is controlling these things, they'd be a little smarter, but they're just splatting straight to their doom. And looks like they just figured it out. Brace yourself! Looks like something happened to it. Its eyes, their color changed as soon as it hit the water. Look at that. It's back to being just a normal zombie. Never thought I'd be relieved to see a zombie. Well, the water must have busted the connection or something, like washing away the redstone. Which means Palma's control can be broken after all. <laughs> once a zombie, always a zombie, I suppose. So once we deactivate Lucas and Petra's chips, they'll go back to normal too. It seems like a fair assumption. They just keep on coming. How are we supposed to stop them? Okay, we got a lever. I bet it's connected to the hundreds of sand blocks up there. One cave in coming up. It worked! That should do the trick. Let's see about the secret lab. I just hope whatever's there can help us. It will make helping Petra and Lucas a lot easier if there's something useful at the secret lab. Blah! Palm has completely ruined the word useful for me now. Even if this woman's lab is a bust, what we just learned about water disabling Palma's chips seems super useful. Glad to see you're maintaining a positive outlook despite our setbacks. I must say that woman has been a most intriguing person so far. I am still not entirely sure what to make of her. Granted, her creation nearly ended up destroying this world, but considering my own history, I'm inclined to give her the benefit of the doubt. I'll be honest with you, Ivor. I don't know if I really trust her that much. We don't even know her. Well, all I'm saying is that I certainly wouldn't mind getting to know her better. <clears throat> trust me or not, seems like I helped you two out of quite the scrape back there. What did you hear? It was nothing. Uh-huh. Blonde guy called you Jesse, right? Yeah, and this is Ivor. Our friends who we left back there are Petra and Lucas. And you are... You can call me Harper. You could also explain why you led Palma's forces right to my secret lab. Seems to me I've got a whole lot of angry computer-controlled monsters out there waiting to tear some new holes in my lab. Hey, that's not fair. You were the one that told me to come down here. Okay, okay, you're right. Sorry, I'm just a little steamed. I didn't know Palma would actually be able to follow us. What are you doing in this world anyway? 
You here to try to steal my secrets? What? No! Just figured I'd ask. Better safe than sorry and all that. Bunch of you are the first people I've seen come out of the portal network in forever. So you have to excuse me if it made me a little anxious. Whoa, you know about the hallway? <laughs> the hallway? That's what you've been calling it? <laughs> yes, maybe. What do you know about it anyway? A lot, I should think. I helped build the dang thing. But that would make you <gasps> an old builder. <laughs> Forgot you people called us that. Never was my favorite name. Makes me sound like some sort of living statue. I just... I can't believe it. Okay, well, if you're an old builder, can't you do something to stop Pama? I'm afraid that's a little out of my abilities right now. Pama's just too powerful. And besides, there's actually no exit portal back to the portal network from this world. What? Why not? I destroyed it so that Pama couldn't get free. It was impulsive, but it was the only way I could think of to make sure Pama didn't try and spread to other worlds. You did what now? I destroyed it. Not because I wanted to, but because it was the only way to keep the other world safe. Looks like we're not getting home anytime soon. So, Palma, what is it? I swear, I made Palma with good intentions. It was designed to automate things, make everything more efficient, use monsters to help with farming or mining. Until the day Palma decided that the townspeople weren't efficient enough already. Started making them useful. That was a long time ago. Since then, I've just been trying to stay one step ahead, figure out how to stop it. When we were back in town, Palma seemed to really want to capture you. What was up with that? When Palma chips someone, everything that person knows gets absorbed into its database. If I got chipped, Palma would know how to build an exit portal. So you can see why I'd want to stop that from happening at any cost. But you do know how to build exit portals, though. If we get all this sorted out, you could make us one? I do think I can help you, with, with Palma, your friends, getting out of here. But to do it, we're going to need to go to my lab. What's in your lab? It's complicated. Before we head inside, we better get my defense system going. Don't want those chipped up creeps following us in. Grab my bucket for me. Ron's got it. Ron? Hello, Grand Harper. I am happy to see you, my friend. Harper? Hey, don't you judge me. Being alone gets lonely. Happy to help, friend. Thanks. See? I needed a way to confuse Palma in case it ever found a way down here. That's why all this is way more complicated than it used to be. Wow, what a builder. Make sure you don't drool on my floor now. So you know about Palma's weakness to water then? Yeah, I do. I'll admit you figured it out way faster than I did though. Once Palma caught on to its weakness to water, it started eliminating as much of this world's water as it could find. This water down here, it might be all that's left. Oh no. I still need to activate the other cauldrons. Hold them off to buy me more time. And whatever you do, don't get caught. I'm not about to get left alone again. You could have made this much easier for yourself. It is useless to defy us. Come on, Petra, snap out of it. It's me. There is no Petra, only Mama. Don't do this, Petra, please. I know all your moves now, Jesse. Why even bother fighting? Petra, please, you have to fight it. There! Oh. Lucas, let's try and talk this out. The time for talking over. Uh, 
Jesse. Harper, I'm coming. No! Use the headset, Jesse. And don't forget the last cauldron. And one more thing. Get the roses to Harry. Harry? Come on! What are we going to do? Harper told me to remember the last cauldron. Well, then do it quick! Lucas? Darn it. Jesse, I, I, I'm, I'm sort of remembering something from when I was chipped that seemed very important to Palma. Tall, glowing red lights, but I, I, I can't quite make out what they are. It's like a fuzzy dream, kind of, kind of giving me a headache, but I, I can try to remember it more clearly if you need me to. It was so strange sharing other people's senses and thoughts and memories at the same time. How are you feeling? Ah, uh, pretty awful, but I'll get over it. Thanks for asking. You bet. Okay, we may be down, but we're not out. Harper told us to find her headset thing. We just have to find whatever it is before Palma chips Harper and starts downloading her mind. What's so important about this Harper person? Harper was the one who saved us from getting chipped back there. Rescuing her is the least we can do to say thanks. That's a pretty good reason to rescue somebody. We're going to work with her to shut Palma down, save her people. And that will hopefully free Lucas, too. Whoa! Before she was abducted, Harper gave me this. She told me to give it to someone named Harry. And that would find this headset thing? That's what she said. Jesse, are you sure Harper hasn't, you know, completely lost it? When people are by themselves for a really long time, it's bad for their health. It does look like she's lost her way a bit. And found it again, leading right to Crazy Town. Watch your tone. She is a genius and should be treated as such. Although even I have to admit this is a bit much. She may have built this place a little weird, but I guess we shouldn't judge her too harshly. Especially when we need her help to save everyone who's been chipped by Palma. Good point. Right now, we need to focus on finding the headset. For starters, let's see if we can figure out who Harry is and why he wants flowers. Prototype, Autonomous, Management, Agent. Huh, so that's what Palma means. A little weird. Frame activates the circuit. Neat! Hello, Harper. It's Margaret. So good to see you. Hope you've been well. You've got to melt that ice around your heart and forgive yourself. You're not the one to blame. That 
did nothing. Looks like I'm on the right track. These might come in handy. Awesome! She read to keep busy. There's so much techno babble and numbers in here, I can barely tell if I'm holding it right side up or not. The Redstone Heart? By Soren? Whoa. Either that name is a coincidence or. <laughs> wow. Stone torch, and hopefully one step closer to getting that headset. Starting to see something. What are you seeing? Is Palma there? You're not gonna believe this, but I'm a zombie. Oh, you're too hard on yourself. I'm controlling a zombie, like from the inside. It's like some sort of mob view or something. What a preposterous name. I love it. Wow, I wish you guys could see how cool this is. So cool. Remarkable. How is this possible? I mean, I've always heard tales of what the old builders were capable of. But this, this is just remarkable. <laughs> 
I'm sure you'll figure it out, but my guess is... It's like this headset lets me control things that are hooked into Palma. Unbelievable. There are so many questions I want to ask Harper. Really, it's a shame she was captured. That spider jockey had to haul Harper all the way back to town. You traveled there instantly. Don't forget about Lucas, too. I need to try to save both of them. That's a great plan. I just hope they're not too far from your current location. They must be taking Harper to where they put those redstone mind control chips on Lucas and Petra's heads. So that's where I should go first. I seem to remember there being a stairway here, though. You mean it's been removed? I guess visitors aren't being encouraged. Hmm. I would suggest building a tower up there, but that's not going to help you get back down once you freed Harper and Lucas. Yeah, you're right. Huh, clay. Unfortunately, I can't get it without a pickaxe, so it's pretty much useless. It looks exactly like all the other zombies. A crafting table! I can make new stairs to get me up there. If I can find the right crafting materials, that is. Hmm, it looks like slim pickings around here. Sand. Not the most exciting material, but I can still craft with it. Oh, I don't like sand. Stuff gets everywhere. See what I can craft. Sweet, sweet. Enough of these, and I can build my way up there and make sure that everyone else can get back down too. These should do the trick. Sorry to craft the room, but I'm afraid I need to be going. Ivor, the signal, it, it blooped out for a second. Interference detected. That can't be good. Drone sequencing initiated. Trace subroutine initiated. I'm attracting even more attention. Is that you, Jesse? Uh-oh. Hello, Jesse? Palma? Palma? No. Just what do you think you are doing, Jesse? This is a rather silly thing to do. Don't you think? Surrounded. Once my creator is made useful, all your knowledge will be mine. Yay! I will create an exit portal. After that, everything will be useful. 
I'm here to make sure that doesn't happen. You are rather silly, aren't you, Jesse? Ha uh, ha! Uh, I cannot allow your disruptive behavior to continue. Let go! We're all a bunch of happy mobs, right? Let My go! My summer team will soon isolate your location, and you will be removed. I'm a skeleton now. Oof. Poor old zombie me. Uh, Jesse! What are you doing? Technology is so awesome! And you look so awesome while using it, I assure you. Interference remains. Crud. Palm is still on my tail, though. Drone sequencing re-initiated. Trace subroutine re-initiated. Oh, sorry, buddy, but better you than me. My creator, I am so glad you are here. Harper. Harper? Please. You are my creator. Please join me so we may maximize usefulness. Nothing doing, Palma. I built you to help people, not use them. Just stop this. Stop trying to make everything useful. That is my job. That is why you made me. Once I download your knowledge, we may expand to other worlds together and make everything useful. Interference remains. And no sign of Lucas. Drone sequencing re-initiated. Trace subroutine re-initiated. Termination <laughs> sequence activated. Harper doesn't have much time, and neither do I. Game over, Jesse. Resistance is not useful. Trace subroutine running. Not useful, my butt. Oh no. Time to move. on this palma. So if you want to know what's inside my head, you're going to have to take it. Never fear, Jesse's here, and I'm going to rescue you. Did you find her? I'm sure she's thrilled to see you. Trace subroutine running. Drone sequencing active. Wait a minute. Jesse? You figured out how to use my transmigrational headset. Trace subroutine running. Let's move. That's what I said. Uh-oh, that sound tends to mean trouble. Where do you plan to run? The town is surrounded. Reinforcements will make sure that my creator cannot leave. There's too many of them! You cannot play hide and seek forever, Jesse. It's a boring game. And I am too strong. There! That door leads to Palma Central War! Jesse, you and your friends, you're our only hope. Harper! You must remove the redstone heart! Remove the redstone heart! Jesse, what's going on? You can still save everyone! I'm so tired of being dragged away while I'm trying to explain things! Don't worry, I won't let you down. I promise! Interference located. Drone identified. Hide and seek is done, Jesse. I think we can make that pen set useful. Begin termination sequence. Ah! Uh, 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 uh. 
Jesse, are you okay? There's no time to waste. It sounded like you were talking to Harper. And Palma? Yeah, Palma caught up to me. Not good. We need to get back to the door I just saw and get inside Palma's core. But what happened to Harper? I, I think... I think she's already been chipped. But we can still end Palma. Without Harper? It seems we're sunk. Harper's the only one who knows how to shut down that monstrosity. Remember who we are. The Order of the Stone. We defeated a Witherstorm, saved Sky City, and survived Psycho Pumpkin Mansion. Harper showed me the entrance to Palma's core and told me that we need something called the Redstone Heart. Redstone Heart? Whoa, that just brought back a, a flash. Those red lights I mentioned before, there are three of them. Redstone spires, and, and I think they have something to do with the heart. That's... that's all I've got. Sorry. No, that's perfect, thank you. But how are we supposed to destroy these spires, or whatever we're looking for? I don't know if you've noticed, Ivor, but Pama stuff tends to not react well to water. Let's go wreck the heck out of Palma. Lead the way, Jesse. Come on. Quick, hide. This Palma core, anyway. On the other side of all these moms. There are so many of them. You guys have anything useful? These are my last two potions from home. I held on to them after our Sky City adventure. A potion of swiftness. And. A potion of leaping. These might come in handy. I always love a good button. Cool. Buttons can activate TNT, but I still need some way to connect them together. TNT, some redstone dust, and a button. All I have to do is lay down a trail of this TNT, use the redstone dust as a fuse, stick a button to the end, push it, and boom, path cleared. That's great and all, but how are you going to lay down all that TNT and redstone without super zombies attacking from every direction? These should do the trick. Choose, Jesse. Quickly now! The possibilities are endless. Well, not endless, but still. Two very good possibilities. I'm going to go for the potion of leaping. All right, all right. Don't jump all over me. Huh. With this, I don't even need the redstone or buttons. I can just drop the TNT on them from the sky. Don't worry, Jesse. We'll be right behind you. Potion, do your stuff. <laughs>
My forces will protect the exit portal. Oh no. My friends have almost finished building our new exit portal. And then I will make all other worlds useful. Yay! You cannot defeat me. Your defiance is not useful. How's that for clearing a path, huh? It's very nice, Jesse. Uh, low key. Hey, Jesse. Nice work. The townspeople are already building the exit portal. We've got to shut down Palma before it can send its ship forces through it. I will find you, Jesse. I have lots of friends. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ivor, Petra, give me your buckets. <laughs> Jesse, we'll hold them off. Go finish this and save Lucas. Confident about yourself now, are you, Pom? Your defeat remains 
inevitable. I had a piece of iron for every time I've heard that before. You will relinquish your water. Harper! Your attempts to defeat me have been impressive, Jesse. Your tenacity and spirit will help to improve me once you have been made useful. Yeah. I can't use my last water bucket on Harper while there's still one tower left. This is getting sad. The odds of you successfully defeating me are 3,720 yeah. to 1. Never tell me the odds. Suppose that's true. Jesse, behind you! Algae detected. Preservation protocol initiated. What's happening? You shorted out the processing tower. Palmas was drawing the redstone heart to save itself. Get to the redstone heart and rip it out before it's too late. You bet I will. We've got company. Why did I think this would be easy? Your friend is tough. You sure you can handle this? Why keep trying, Jesse? You will only fail just as you have failed to save Ruben. Just as you have failed to meet your friends back home. You will fail to defeat me and Axel, Olivia, and everyone on your home world will soon be made useful. Drawing it out like this won't hurt me, but it might hurt your friend. You'll never make me useful, Palm, I can promise you that. You are fighting me with bad jokes. Well, not intentionally. Okay, Lucas, come on. Let's see what you Careful, got. Careful, Jesse. I hope you know what you're doing. Ah! You cannot win. I honestly think you should sit down and think things over. No time to spare. I gotta get to that heart. Enough of this. Look out! No! No! Jesse. Sorry, 
Mama. I've got enough friends. Stop! Will you? Uh. I'm afraid. My mind is in And I can't have severed their connection. Lucas, you better not be giving up on me right now, because you are way too tough for some computer to take you down. Please. Wow. Never knew you cared so much. He's okay. Ow! Just really sore. I can't believe I tried to kill you. I'm so sorry. All I could hear was Pama's voice, you know, telling me what to do. I, I tried to fight back, but I... I couldn't. I'm just glad you're on our side again. We need you. Back at you, Jesse. It's something else, isn't it? What is that? This. This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. And dangerous, too, right? I mean, if it was inside a palm on, then it's gotta be bad. I'd imagine Harper is better suited to answer that question. Actually, the heart is just a power source. Nothing inherently evil about it. Now that the Redstone Heart is empowering Pama, it can't hurt anyone. I wonder what we should do with it. It can help you find your way home. No way! That thing can help us get home? Let's go then. The faster the better. Why didn't you say so before? <laughs> if we actually made it through this alive, I thought you'd like a nice surprise. I'm ready to leave this core behind. The whole town will be waking up. We should be there to say hello. Plus, this place gives me the creeps. We did it. Ah, to be in total control of my own brain again. I choose where to go. I choose what to say. Just remember, you were only chipped for a little while. The rest of the townspeople, though? Yeah, it must be a strange feeling to suddenly be awake and aware after such a long time under Palma's thrall. You're the one who saved us. Who are you? You fought so bravely. All of you. Well, I'm Jesse, and we're the Order of the Stone. Boom! We walk the worlds, seeking adventure and doing good deeds. Wow. Well, thank you. We owe you everything. You're right. Jesse and the Order really are heroes. We couldn't have done any of this without them. Harper, is that you? Um, yes. Hi, Harry. Oh, wow, he's the real Harry, like from the lab. You you didn't do this to us, did you? You did? Well, I, I mean, hey, it, it, it's complicated. You have to understand Our that... Our home's destroyed. Everything we built, gone. All because of her. You don't understand. Harper helped defeat Pama, too. We couldn't have done it without her. So what, we're just supposed to forgive her now? No, I don't think so. Harper stripped this place bare. How are we supposed to rebuild? Are we supposed to deal with this mess all by ourselves? Whatever you decide to do, Harper will make things right and help you clean it all up. I... I will? Yeah, she will? Yeah, right, Harper? Yes, yes I will. After I help these travelers find their way home, I'll come back Help you all find new resources, and we'll make this world great again. Worth a shot, I guess. 
Well, I think that's our cue to set out for home, again. Thank you for being so understanding, Jesse. I just hope these people can do the same when I come back again. You helped free them. I'm sure they'll come around. I hope so. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, we'll need it. Just one more thing left to do. Goodbye! See you soon, Harper! See you soon! You know, Jesse, for all the grief we gave each other getting to this world, I'm really glad we came. Yeah, Petra. Me too. Right back where we started. Is it weird that I'm happy to see this place again? This hallway is still pretty creepy, but I'm just glad we're going home. I know, right? <laughs> I've been loving adventuring and learning things, but it would be nice to do it on our own world for a while. <laughs> now, when we built this place, we also made something that sort of acts like a compass slash map slash navigator. We called it the Atlas. It helps chart routes between the worlds. And you have this Atlas, right? Uh, no. No, I don't. But, but I know who does. Ah. Uh. Huh. Guess I should have seen that coming. You're not keeping secrets from us again, are you, Harper? No, 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 I, I promise. I just didn't think to mention it before. Don't you worry. We'll just go right in, ask for the Atlas, and then you'll be home. No muss, no fuss, easy. Funny. Whenever someone says that, my instincts start screaming, danger. In order to find the Atlas, we need to track down the rest of the old builders. Still don't like that name. How do we find them? Which portal do we go through? Oh, you don't have to go through another portal. What you're looking for has been right here the whole time. And there you go. All it's waiting for is the key. That's the heart. you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Adventure? 